guys. Happy Wednesday. I just have to tell you, I am elated, elated, so happy with how many new subscribers I have gained. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, my diehard subscribers that have been with me from the start, the, the beginning, the middle, and all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and sh showing me a bunch of love. I so appreciate it. And I also want to reach out to Queen Bee's Vintage, um, my two favorite gals, Sherry and Misty. I love you guys. I love you guys. And I loved your shout out on your channel yesterday. Thank you so much. And this is what this wonderful community is all about. It's meeting like-minded people and supporting each other. And it means so very much. So thank you, ladies. Mwah. Love you guys. And in case any of my new subscribers aren't familiar with uh, Misty and Sherry, I will link them in my description box below. I highly recommend you go check them out. They are both phenomenal decorators, crafters, DIYers, painters, furniture restores. I mean, these ladies do it all. They're super, I call them super women. They're super women. That's what they are. Women of many trades. And here's Queen Bee's Vintage. And look at all the videos they have. Lots and lots of videos to choose from. You guys will love them if you haven't been there yet. Check them out. And one more thing, guys. When I was playing for more subscribers on um, Monday's video, I took a count. I was at 19,144. And now, as of right now, I am 19,520. So... I just want to say, you guys, you guys, I just love you. You guys are the best. Thank you for making my little dream come true. I'm getting closer, and I'm going to have to do something big to celebrate if if and when I make it to 20000 So thank you, guys. I couldn't do it without you. Mwah! Well, today we are standing in the family room, and we are going to get decorating this mantle right here. Y'all know I've had many challenges with this mantle. So my husband and I were talking this morning over coffee and we have decided we are going to transform this mantle some way, somehow. And I know you guys have all given me wonderful ideas on how to do that. So we're gonna put our two little noggins together and come up with something for fall. So stay tuned with that. At least we're planning to do that. You know, things do change, but that's what we wanna do. So anyway, today we are gonna be decorating this mantle in a late summer, let me emphasize, late summer look and feel. So if that sounds like fun, stick with me and let's get decorating. Let's do this. Got the hearth down here below. And I have that there just because I've had that little screen for years and I'm like in love with it. I got it at Kirkland's years and years and years ago and it's just reminds me of when the kids are little and we had crackling fires in the fireplace and I just like it. I like the arch on it as opposed to a straight line, you know? So anyway, that's kind of what we're dealing with. And then up above, we have stone all the way up there and then we go into the big windows and diagonal box beam ceiling. Woo, the lighting, woo. Anyway, that's what we're dealing with. So let's do this. Where shall we start? By the way, I always have to have some sort of ambiance or lighting on my mantle. It drives me nuts otherwise if I don't. So that's why you see a cord right there. Don't you worry, we're gonna be concealing that, but we need to add light. So as I always say, let there be light. So I have these two cute lights, candlestick lights, I guess. I got these at Kirkland's years ago. I love the dainty feminine shades. They're so me, so me. And I think they're cute with a dark base. That's what we're starting with. So in just a minute, when I turn this camera off for a second, I'm going to say, let there be light. And you will see the lights magically appear. Stay tuned. Not really. I'm just going to go ahead and place them. I'm being goofy and silly. As always. 
I'm going to put one up here and then one on the other side. Done. Now the key is always routing an extension cord. So I've got one right here that goes up the side and then I can just tap in over here with this extension cord. Okay guys, as you can see, the stone makes it really dark looking. That's why I needed to add lights. It just brings in that cozy ambiance feeling in this room. But because you guys know I'm going Tuscan farmhouse, Tuscan, you know, more modern Tuscan in the sense that it's going to be lighter and brighter. I'm going to add two white distressed shutters. One of my wonderful subbies recommended this when I was debating on what to do with this whole mantle and it just made it for me. It just made everything pop. So that's what we're going to do. And so I've got two shutters here. I've already shared these with you guys from Hobby Lobby. And I did put a nail right here in this one so that I could hang a wreath. So I put them together and I hang the wreath from here. And uh, it, it works beautifully. So let's go do that. Oh, actually I've got a, another nail on this one. So when they come together, I've got a good anchor for my wreath. All right, so let's add the shutters. Put one here. And guys, I'm just leaning them. And then one here. I'm a shorty, so I gotta get up here and fix this. It's driving me nuts. spring wreath okay it's spring and I went down into my fall stash and I found these like little fall branches with the brown in it and so I said how appropriate for late late summer guys this wreath and I like it because it's it's imperfect it's kind of wispy it I just like it I don't know and um I think it'll be pretty up there so you can always like take a spring wreath and incorporate some darker colors for fall, especially if you don't want to go out and spend money. You know, you can just use what you have. And this is what I had. So anyway, I think it's pretty, but I'm going to hang that on those two little nails on the shutters. So let's do this. Shorty, short challenge. And I want it, look, these little pieces to kind of look wispy and flouncy. I think that's pretty. Love it. Okay, guys, and this is how it looks on the shutters and I like it a little bit messy and imperfect that's how things are in the wild as a lot of you have reminded me and I don't know I love it I love the pops of brown in with that green color it's so pretty so let's build on this so we've got our lamps our shutters and our wreath that's the focal point there we just need to build around it. And I'm keeping it simple, guys, for late summer. Next up, I have the letter R, Hobby Lobby, $7.99. Oh my gosh, that's not $7.99, it was $27.99. But I know I got a 50% off. I would not have paid that price for a letter. I mean, come on now. Anyway, I'm just gonna set this up here just because I think it'll look cute. So I'm gonna set the letter R right here. like so. All right, guys, I ran down to my storage room and I am running low on this kind of greenery. 
um, but I've got to make it work. So what I'm doing is, uh, doing is I'm splitting this kind of in half, if you will, and then I'm going to wrap half of it around my lamp. Um, I'm going to bring half over this way, half over this way, and then I'm going to add some flowers. So that's what we're going to do next. So let me point this upward. Now let's get some flowers. So I have two little bushels of these little flowers. And again, these can go late summer, fall. You decide, but I'm calling it late summer. That's it, it's late summer. But uh, anyway, I'm just gonna place a little bushel in here. And one little bushel and if you guys like this, spread your flowers out so they look a little more full. And I'm just gonna set that little bushel there. How cute is that? It's, it almost resembles a blooming lamp, if you will. Just not as full and bodacious, but it's still cute. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So same thing, we're taking the greenery and separating it so we can get the most bang for our buck, if you will, on one little piece of greenery. And we're just gonna, oops, let me push this up. And we are just gonna put a little bush, bushel here on this side. And the other little bushel over here. And you have to play with it, you know, so, to make it look pretty. It may take a few seconds to get it the way you want it. There we go. Now we can add our flowers. And actually I want a little piece coming through the bar over here on this side. There, that looks cute. Love it. Okay, where are my flowers? Again, these are the same flowers, just two of them. And I like to kind of separate them a little bit to make them look a little more full. And then I'm just gonna stick them right up there into the greenery and again you have to play with this like i want this to kind of look like a blooming lamp if you will so i may like kind of boost these little flowers upward yeah like that i like that looks cute love it Okay guys, so I'm keeping it super simple because I really don't have a lot of space, but I've got this cloche top that went to a, a different base. And then I have a really cute kind of like rustic-y base. This actually goes to the smaller version of that cloche, but I'm using the base that goes to that one with another display. So anyway, I took, um, a grapevine, grapevine wreath and put it around the base with an LED candle. And I stuck this over the top. And like I said, it doesn't even go, but I don't care. And uh, anyway, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna put that right over there just for a little sparkle, shimmer and shine. I'm gonna take that off while I place this. I'm gonna tuck this piece over here, bring my flowers out a little bit more. 
And then I'm going to put this top on. Cute. Let me bring it back. And that's what we have going on on Liz's mantle for late summer. Late summer. All right, guys, you may remember when I got this at Home Goods a week ago, and I told you, I said, I have got to get this to fit on my hearth. And I did. So I'm going to put it right here. Just like that. I think it looks cute. It adds a little bit of texture. Okay, guys, check out my latest Amazon find. Check out this big lantern box. Is that not cute? It's like galvanized steel on the top. It's chippy and white. Hello, can you see pumpkins and fall leaves and like a, an adorable display in this? Anywhere in your house? And um, anyway, I got this one, it came with two. So uh, it came with a smaller one inside. So anyway, we're gonna decorate the top of that little basket. And what I've decided to do is I got this little uh, pedestal, like cake pedestal stand at Hobby Lobby. And then I've got my favorite LED flickering candles that come with an, a remote. Check it out. Let there be light. Love these. Oh my goodness. I'm like in love, in love. You're gonna see in the next few weeks how many of these candles I'm using in my house. But talk about ambiance. And by the way, when you place them in glass containers, it legit looks like a real candle. So check this out. I'm gonna place these on the inside of this lantern. Check this out. Is that not cute or what? I'm in love, in love. And when we watch a movie or t you know, we're watching TV at night, I just get my little remote and I put this on and it's almost as if I've got the fireplace on. Again, talk about cozy ambiance. This is it peeps, this is it. Anyway, is that not pretty or what? I think it's so, so cute. And we're just gonna set the other one over here uh, on the other side. So here's the smaller version. Look how cute, look how cute. So anyway, we're gonna set this down here. And then we're gonna add some more stuff. Okay guys, so I'm trying to incorporate a little bit more black in my house, especially for fall and Christmas, because I think it looks nice. But also in going with that Tuscan, modern, modern Tuscan, I'm mixing white with black, with distressed, with stone, with lighter pieces. So I think it works. But uh, anyway, I got two of these at Home Goods like a few weeks ago. And I, because I've got candles going here, I don't want to put a candle on top. So I just add a garden ball just to add a little bit of texture. So I'm going to put them on either side of this lantern here. So let's place these. Okay, so as you can see, I've got one here that's elevated and one lantern down here that's lower. And I'm telling you guys, when we sit here and we watch a movie at night and the lights are dim and I've got my little candles going, it's so cozy. I just love it. And I love the, the little pops of yellow in with the greenery on the mantle for late summer. I do, I love it. I think it's adorbs, adorbs. So if you guys liked my blooming lamps, well actually, like again, it wasn't my idea. It was somebody who did it years past and I just took her idea and made it my own. These I would call blooming lamps. They don't have to be in a pot. 
and I think they look just as beautiful. And if I wanted to, I could add and incorporate even more flowers in. And I just love the way the greenery and the florals look with the lights above because it casts down and it just makes everything pop. So I hope you guys like this. Again, I'm going simple because I know fall, I start to bring a lot out. And I'm really enjoying a simple look for Liz. You know, this is my version of simple. So anyway, I hope you guys like it. I'll take it down and then I'll show you again. And I think I have some night shots of what the mantle looks, looks like at night so you can see it. So stay tuned. That's going to wrap up this little video. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll catch you on Friday for more decorating. We might be working on the family room bookshelf as well as the table next to it. Things are always subject to change, but that's what I'm thinking. So stay tuned. Catch you in the next one. Bye guys.